the Justice Podcast with your hosts, Damber Wagner and Jacob Willis. What's the deal, y'all? Welcome to episode 35. It's your girl, Just Living Baby. And your boy, Jacob Willis. You tune into the Just, Just Us Podcast. Podcast. And as you see today, we have a guest. We have the beautiful and talented mother, model, philanthropist, and so much more, Caitlin. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what How up? you feeling? I'm great. I'm okay. Thank you for being here. I'm I'm grateful for you guys inviting me. Period. You look amazing head to toe. It smell good. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's giving luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yes. it. So yes. fucking funny. So on every episode, we start with a mental health moment. Okay. And we decided to base it around you. Okay. So we know that your baby's father is YG. Mm -hmm. He's always in the media with who he's dating and this and that. Your life is always pushed on the scene. Mm -hmm. Anything that you go through, basically. How do you deal with that? Not having the privacy and everything. Oh, man. I honestly want to say everything is always one day at a time. Okay. One day at a time. Okay. Also, I feel like when you become with like the repetition of living a certain lifestyle, it just mm -hmm. becomes a habit and you become accustomed to whatever you you deal with or whatever you have right. to go through. So I just gangsta my shit out the best I can. Oh, I like that. I know that. that's right. <laughs> The best I can. You know, that shit comes with a lot of shit and you just grow through it and go through it. Okay. It ain't easy. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, we feel that. Any advice for others that have their life put out there, how they can deal with it and not get all stressed out? Right, holding it all together, especially mm -hmm. knowing that you have two beautiful daughters. Right, that you, can see right. and hear about it. You don't probably want to show them, you know, the times that you are sad and things uh, like that. I feel like... That's a good question. I feel like being vulnerable is a big deal for me. And I feel like it's important to do so because you have young girls, but you also want to show them you're strong. But I will say that I'm not 100% perfect. And I'm just like, you literally have to take it one day at a time. I don't know. Just working on your self-love, staying true to yourself and doing things that you want to do because you really get lost in that shit. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just hard. Everybody's situation is different. You Absolutely. Know Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so you just take it one day, like one, literally one day at a time. And then also you just, you try to invest more in your kids and focus on that and things like that to kind of keep you pushing mm -hmm. and moving. And that's really where I'm at it. Like, and therapy. Oh, I do oh, therapy. Good. Okay. And therapy. I love therapy. Wow. Every week? Every week. You want to know twice a week. Shut that's up. good. I have a okay. friend that does therapy every week. She lost both of her parents, so every week mm. she talks to her yeah, therapist. Yeah, a lot of people, it's like a stigmatism on therapy, especially mm -hmm. in the black community or any minority, mm. like especially in men too. So Facts. I've been holding off on going to therapy, not because I was like scared to talk about anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared, but I just, for whatever reason, ready probably wasn't ready to do the work. Right, okay. So, but I go to therapy, so that shit, it helps. It helps you with your past traumas. It helps you with your present traumas. And trying to work on not your, you know, the generational curses of mm -hmm. how you pass shit down in your habits to your kids. So therapy. Oh, therapy. 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 It That's is. it. Yeah. Therapy. <clears throat> Well, you guys, so we haven't done a catch up in a while. Me and Amber, we didn't film last week. Um, but you guys watched the pod, so you guys know that Amber has never been on a date. Mm. But that has all changed. Wait. Yeah. So we get before we get too much into this interview, we need to uh, hear about this date. Okay. Went on a date. We went to the yard house. He was very sweet. He was a little bit late. So, you know, whatever. But he did pay for everything. But then, you know me, I start seeing him pay for, like, the drinks and everything. So I kind of was like, okay, you know, I'll get the next two rounds. But my friend told me don't do that. Let a man be a man and handle it. So I still was doing too much. Mm -hmm. But it was cool. And then we were supposed to go out again, but we did not go out again. But why not? I don't know. We still were in communication, but we just haven't been out again. Damn. Did he let you know, like, yo, mom, I want to see you again? He did, right? He did. And so did we happen. And then we kissed at the end of the day and everything. <laughs> did your foot go up? <laughs> no, it was hard to lift. You no, know, I'm extra. My foot go way up. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. No, I don't know what happened. Y'all kissed? Yeah, a little tug. I love that. A little tug. Oh, so it wasn't just a regular pet. I don't know what it is. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I don't you know. Use the tongue? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Bitch, I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying like first date, kissing. I don't know. But I've been I'm knowing just, him. It's like, you know, this is our okay, first date. Okay, that's cool. That It's more so with that because it's like you take a chance with anybody you fuck oh, with. Oh, facts, facts, facts. But I just more so say like when you don't really know people and you meet them, it's like, oh, fuck. Right, right. Yeah, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got going on. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, especially if you had a, like a prior relationship. Exactly, it's yeah. a friendship. You kind of know how they move. That's right. all. It's like hygiene. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. But I feel like he just has a lot going on. So, you know, I'm still on the market. <laughs> this is a cold world. Hey, listen. That's one day and many more to come. <laughs> right. And what's, right. What's been up with you, Jacob? You've been out at these fancy restaurants. Uh-huh. You've been producing uh-huh. another podcast. I mean, mm-hmm. you've been on the scene. I got to get in my bag. Christmas is coming okay, up. Okay, you've got no black niche. truck quite often as well. <laughs> well, I love a good black truck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I have been producing a podcast called The After Hours Podcast. Okay. Um, it's been different for me. I never produced anything before. So mm-hmm. when they asked me, I was kind of like, you know, I'll be on my Tyler Perry shit a little bit. Right, right, right. And as far as the fancy dinners, I've been meeting a lot of rich niggas. I love that. So, hey, they offer to pay. Jesus. I'm on my way. Ooh. So that's what I've been doing. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Cute. Yep. And just preparing for the holidays. I'm going home to Texas. I'm, my family's from Texas. Oh, they're excited. Right. So they're excited. I'm going home, seeing all my nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. But yeah, enough about me. Who is Kate? Who is Kate? Who is Kate? Kate? Who is the real Kate? Right. Yeah, who are, who are you? Me, huh? What are your uh, hobbies? What are things you like to do? What makes you happy? Well, I will tell you, I will tell you honestly, in the life and space that I'm in, in the age that I'm in, I am a completely different person than I was a long time ago. I know people say you transition and you grow, but when I say I'm a 360 from the person I was oh, when I was man. younger, but it's crazy though, because I've been trying to get the old me back. I was just hiking with my best friend mm-hmm. earlier today. We were talking about like, fuck, man. I wish I had some of my old ways. I've kind of softened up a lot. Mm, I like that. Stuff slide now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking about this heavy in since we're going to talk about it, who I am. I've been working on my boundaries. Mm. Mm. Boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. Boundaries. Boundaries. I've been working on that. But who I am, I'm a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm refinding myself and trying to figure my shit out in my life and what I really want and what matters most to me. Obviously, kids on top is always, Mm -hmm. you know, but I'm a mom first. I've been going to church a lot. I've been trying to get into that. So I go every Sunday. Um, I don't know. That's like a deep question. This sad to say, I don't have a definitive answer for you. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm a whole lot of everything. I'm relearning. Yeah, I'm a vibe. I'm energy. Mm-hmm. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Really? Yeah, bitch. I don't, I've never been drunk a day in my life. That's Shut so good. Up. Yeah, and it's so sad because like my friends be trying to pour liquor down my throat. Literally, like you know, how your friends be drunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like holding me down, trying to pour liquor in my mouth. What I'm kind like, of friends is that? I'm not mad at it because it's like it's a safe environment. But I get it because everybody's like, bro, you've never been drunk. It's like you know, it's like yeah. taboo. It's like what? Well, you how old are you? You've never drank? Yeah, never. That's how my friends are with me and weed. I've never smoked weed in my life. Mm. Okay, yeah, I smoke weed. Yeah, so they like, I smoke you weed. Get high. No, let me stop. No, let. I smoke mm-hmm. weed, but I don't like how it makes me feel. Yeah, that feel. Ooh. I don't know oh, if it's the yeah. type of weed mm-hmm. I'm smoking or I try to smoke, but it puts me on a level that just fucks me up every time. I don't like it. So what made you not ever want to drink? It was like the past Shit. trauma. Have you seen Damn. something? And that's another thing I've been working on, trying to figure that out. Okay. For the whole time, I've been thinking that shit just fucks me up. So when I would try to drink or like drink with my friends mm-hmm. or recreationally, I would try to drink and my stomach would feel so fucked up, right? But I was like, I'm on some real shit, I think subconsciously, because my dad had to, you know, he drank really heavy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I think subconsciously, I'm just trying to prevent myself be- to catch a habit. Like, yeah. you know? Right, right. Because it's like, bruh, like, it's kind of crazy. Like, mm-hmm. I, I won't, I haven't fucked with it. I try, I've tried wine. I've tried champagne. I can't get with it. So I think it does have something to do with childhood shit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just, and I I, I never realized as I was growing up and my friends were drinking like that that was a thing. But now that I'm doing the digging, trying to figure shit out, I'm like, yeah. Pulling back them layers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they thick. Yeah. My grandfather was a heavy alcoholic growing up. Yeah. My functioning though. Don't get me wrong. I hate to put you out there. But he's stopped drinking. He got, he had his fix. Like he got fucked up real bad. And Mm. he was like, I'm good. So he's stopped drinking for a while now. But I'm just saying like a very functioning, like can go to work, you know, you this whole suit on, but be mm-hmm. drinking. Still in this bag, <laughs> but be drinking too. Yeah. Okay. Rise and shine. I'm like, damn. How do you do it? Yeah. How do you do it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And with you figuring out like who you are and your purpose and everything, are you trying to like really make a name for yourself now? Because I know sometimes you get pushed to the side like, oh, where'd you baby mama? But you're so much more. 
you your And own I never person. realized that though. You, well, look, he, he, you here. Let's Hello? talk about it. Yeah, yeah, but okay. So let me be honest with you. I just was talking about something about with also my friend and um, her boyfriend about certain stuff and mm-hmm. just having brands and not wanting to be the face. It's just not me just trying to get comfortable and back in my skin of who I am because I have a lot to offer in a personality and I don't really show it much. Right. Um, not because I'm scared to, I just have been accustomed to be kind of in the background okay. of just in life in general, not just with my kid's father. I'm just uh-huh. saying in life. Okay. So I think for me, like I'm just trying to, I don't know. Like, I'm not necessarily trying to pop out. I'm not really that person. I want to make the money and be in the background. I like to, I, I want to know okay. the people. I want to have the connects, but I don't want to be on the front page. I don't want to be the front surface of the, of the anything. I like to gotcha. be low. Okay. And I think that's why I don't talk a lot about certain shit because I really don't want to be bothered with certain shit. Got you. But I want to go to the shit. I want to be at the event. Right, right, right. You're trying to pop in and pop out. Oh. And that's a lie, so I don't really like to function. But if it's just some fly shit, like, and I'm invited and I know the people and we hanging out, I'll, yeah, of course I want to I want to mm-hmm. go. But I don't right. want to be the face of nothing or, you know, like always in the news and shit mm-hmm. or the blog, whatever the shit's called. Do you know how rare that is, though? For a beautiful, like, you're beautiful exactly. as fuck. And a lot that. of girls, you know, they they have a baby daddy or somebody that they talking to, quote unquote, and they just looking for a moment every they day. They love the clock. You're not Ooh, even pressed about that. For it. You really I don't not. like how it makes me feel. Yeah. I come, I'm human. And, and when I'm like that, I feel like sometimes I start to compare myself to other women and I don't want to feel like that anymore. Yeah, well, you, did yeah. cons- you do cons- um, hold yourself like a proper lady. I did see your TikTok right. when you was like, uh, you said, um, I don't twerk, we dance elegantly. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. I sent that to Amber. I said, that's the quote. I yeah, said, no, I mean, I mean, I'm still like, I'm cool as fuck. I'm a little okay. bit of a tomboy. So I'm, I am a loose character, like person. I'm a vibe. I'm always energy. I'm easy to talk to. But like, I just like to be laid back. Like, I'm going to be a vibe. I'm going to chill. But I don't like to be, you know, I don't want to be a part of all this shit. I don't want to. Keep it player. Yeah. yeah. But don't get me wrong. I still want to be a part of shit as far as like the in, like in the industry as far as making money. Right. But I, I don't want to be the face of stuff. So if I can use my resources right. and the people I know and maybe pop out and do things like this mm-hmm. to support you, just little things here and there, I can respect that and do that. But I ain't trying to do all that shit. Right. right. So let's switch it, ain't it up. For me. <laughs> Motherhood. Ooh. You have two beautiful daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw one of your daughters is playing tennis. Doing her, her thing. She's so amazing. Right. And I will be honest, her dad got her onto that shit. And okay. it's cold as fucking here. I have goosebumps. But that's not a part of the podcast. I'm sorry. You need a blankie? No, I'm just I kidding. I guess cut it down a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, itch. But back to what I was saying. <laughs> My bad. Um, no, but her dad got her into tennis, right? And it was uh-huh. so crazy because he was like, that's one thing I will say. He pushes her. And he goes to her tennis practices. He does all that shit. Love that. That's oh, what? Like. That nigga going. He's there. He's present. But I'm saying, like, he got her into that. And I just followed through and did my part because of his schedule and how his life is. I have to do my part and make sure I get him there because mama's is all day, every day. Come on. So while he's working, he does whatever the times he can be there, which is a lot of the times. And then the times he can't. So I do the ripping and running. But when I say she has gotten so good and I'm just so proud of her, it's like she has a natural knack for certain things awesome. yeah. athletically. And she's very... Very smart. She picks shit up easily. I heard that. That's what I said. I'm like, yeah. fuck, God damn it. Make us some damn money. Period. <laughs> Look, yeah. you know when you got it, you just got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like she yeah. just has it's it. It's a yeah. real thing. Yeah. That's a real thing. Like, you know, mm-hmm. some people are like, why I can't do that? She don't have to feel like that. She's very young. She's, she's the sweetest out of the two. The little one's bad as fuck. Well, I love that little clip. Oh, y'all was doing a photo shoot. Something. And she said, <laughs> oh, babe. I love it. So much personality. I, yes. such a young age. And like, like, she knows. She's so confident. <laughs> I love she that. She gives fucking hell on earth. That's that's a one right there. She has a real spicy attitude. She's um aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, they were playing the other day, and sorry, Harmony. She um <laughs> she was playing and they was rough housing and she knocked Harmony Tooth out. Shut up. Yeah, oh. bitch. She's like, she's that type of rough. And it wasn't like she literally was trying to knock her tooth mm-hmm. out, but she just was so rough with the right. kid and so that? much bigger. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. It's her older sister. And I'm like, it was a baby too. We we still got <laughs> teeth to come back. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so sh- that just says they're the polar opposite. My younger one is a lot like her father, and my older one is a lot like me. Gosh, you do you want more? I do want, I do. But I feel like now that I'm in the space of like kind of growing and healing, it's like I want to my next kid. I want to be in a different season of myself. Come on, okay. I just want to be in another vibe. My kids had to grow with me, even though I had 
Harmony at a really good age. I had her at 25. I wasn't too young. Oh, yeah. But even then, it doesn't really matter how old you are. You, age, yeah. Mm -hmm. You still are growing no matter how old you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. And going to like different things. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they've had to grow through a lot of shit with me. So I would like for my next kids to get a different space and opportunity. Okay. There's a little like something. That. Right, right, right. Right. Little something, something. I love that. You had a brand called Girls Night Out. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. still have that? Where is it? And how at? Did that come about what right. fight at? What's I ain't a girl, on? but I want to fight at. Okay. So I did have a brand, Girls Night Out. And so with that, it was a woman's clothing line. It was supposed to be streetwear. With that, um, I want to say the space that I was in mentally, I wasn't able to properly deliver like I felt like I could. Okay. And so instead of like diving in even further, I kind of took a step back and I decided to like really try to figure out what I want to do. And so it's still a brand. It's being revamped and it's coming in a whole different way. And it's not going to be women's clothing wear. So it's going to be more so like skin and body. And I haven't even told nobody that. But since you asked, it's like, why not? Hello. Did we just get the, the rebrand is near. Yeah. So I'm I'm working hard though. Like, yeah, I'm working hard. So with that still being your brand, you do have, have an event coming up. Yeah. Hope for the holidays, helping women and children in need. I yes. love that. Yeah. Let's 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 talk about it. Let's get into it. Okay. So this came about, and this is just an honest, true thing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be explaining myself a little bit too much because it be seeming like I sound crazy, but I'm going to just be honest. Okay. It came on my heart to want to do something and give back. And so I was talking to my friend who's a part of my board of my nonprofit. Her name is Crystal. And she's a licensed clinical therapist, black woman, mm. USC grad. Mm. And right now. she's a shit. Um, and I was telling her, like, friend, I don't want to keep going downtown and doing Skid Row. And I'm not saying that people don't need it. But to be honest, it's like when I went to do something with my kid's father and um, his mother, they have a nonprofit or whatever, okay. 400 Ways, right? So I went, this was some years ago, we would go downtown for Thanksgiving and when we would go, everybody was already serving plates. Yeah. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody go, goes to Skid Row. Mm -hmm. Everybody right. goes to Skid Row because they don't know where else to reach to. So right. my thing was, is I was like, being her being a clinical therapists and dealing with other women in group homes eventually I need to I want to work with specific homes and women and just like give them you know whatever resources or help there and be there and not just be so like robotic with them mm -hmm. and so just this event in particular came about because I said I wanted to do something to let you know before the year it was mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. and um I said you know what Thanksgiving was too close I didn't want to do right. the turkey shit and I'm like what can we do and I'm like of course Christmas but I want to make it fun so the event basically my my friend who's part of the event uh Crystal I spoke uh, spoke about mm -hmm. she um is going to be raffling off um 10 free sessions 45 minute sessions to a woman <gasps> in need of therapy Shut um up. we also have a telehealth van that will be there that provides services like through the communities and stuff like All that right. Um, we'll have food, we'll have a jumper, and there'll be a toy giveaway. And we're working on doing goodie bags for the women to try to take away. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Just music and vibes. So the kids are welcome. No admission needed. And it'll you be heard LA. That free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. free. It's like free to come get more free right, shit. Right. And it's mm -hmm. fucked up because I was trying to promote it, but I've been posting really heavy about Palestine and stuff. So oh, yes, I've been yes. shadow banned. So okay. I'm just trying to get everybody, which I'm thankful. Thank you oh, for you that. Oh, you're going to get um, out there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so grateful. And I think this is absolutely beautiful that you're doing this. You're trying yeah. to get into the community and make things happen where these bitches yeah. are online trying to make the blog. So yeah. you guys, to, this is a great example of a woman who no is shame. trying to make change and she's mm -hmm. genuine about it. The event is on December 10th at from 1 to 5 p.m. 6900 Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. And we're going to place the flyer. Yes, Hello. yes. I'm going to put all of the information down in the description box. Thank you. And it will be at the location will be at my it's like family friend. It's his studio. It's a really awesome. dope place, but it's extra space. And he's allowing us to use it to have the event. It's creative sound. So, okay, yeah. Yeah. Please come out, ladies. Bring your kids. Bring the vibes. Yeah, the aunties, if you're taking care of kids, the grannies taking care of kids, the nieces and nephews. And also, if you want to come and support and even just bring a toy, even if it's $5 mm -hmm. worth a toy, and you just want to come and come enjoy the vibes and the music and the free food, I'm okay with that. Don't come empty-handed. It doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm okay Easy. with that, too. Easy. Come vibe with us, me and my family and my kids. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you may bring joy talking about it. Yeah. yeah, I would love for you guys bring to bring something. Bring yeah. some toys. I ain't got no kids. Food, but I'll, whatever you need. I'll bring something. Yeah, right. Right. Come, in. come in. Yeah, I don't mind. Some books. Yeah, yeah, for yeah sure. Exactly. I used yeah. to love when I used yeah. to get um, get books as a kid. Like That's I used my to love it. Daughter, yeah, yeah, I didn't, but. 
I'm about to say, yeah, that's not me, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming because I didn't really care. No, I didn't. All right, I'm throwing that to the side. Where the toys at? Where the Barbies is there? Uh, What's up? <laughs> no, fucking for real. Right, like, yeah. you can find brass dog. Right, you can spoil it away, girl. I don't do nothing with this shit. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. <sighs> well, let's drop into some of this um, weekly drama that's been going on. Yes, What's going on. Let's talk about your friend. Oh God. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people are upset. <laughs> You are just so aggravated. You just had... <laughs> she wanted to jump right just, in. I'm like, what? She, right. And she looked right at me and said it. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. What is it? Okay, so Kiki Palmer reportedly calls off her restraining order, hearing with baby daddy Darius to handle matter privately. Both have agreed to attend uh, mediation. A lot of people are upset about this. Right. Um, and uh, they're like, you know, this is a problem. They feel like this is a problem with a lot of people. They give people too many chances. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. um, we're not in their position. We don't know. Everything. I can't speak for nobody but myself. I feel like do what's best for you. Okay. Um, and that's my opinion on it. You know what I mean? I'm not in the room. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. I don't know the conversations that they have already had right. that we don't know. Right. Yeah. What's your opinion, sis? Well, I guess I'll keep it cute like you, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what I was gonna say at first, but you're right. I don't no, know. No. I'm not even going to be there, Ryan. But I'm like, just saying, you know, great. last week or the other week, it was all oh, posting all these videos and stuff, and oh, he's beating me and everything. But then you want to go to mediation? Like, come on, let this man, like, you know, he got to reap what he sowed. Yeah. If he beating you down and snatching your phone and all that, come on, you don't. We don't work with that. She a Virgo like me. Maybe she letting him get closer. How she many stab chances him in the though? How many chances for the same? You never know. Business? It's my maybe, whole put face. Put that goddamn like, foot down. Well, maybe she gonna put that foot up his ass. You don't know what she gonna do. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> she so crazy. Kiki, <laughs> do what you gotta do, friend. Now, if you need real, backup, yeah, point we me. We still for rooting real. for her for sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No judgment here. <laughs> no judgment. You can talk about the next one. Oh, my gosh. Did y'all see Chaotic throw that young woman in the pool that could not swim and was about to drown until little Scrappy came like an angel from heaven and grabbed her up? Did you see that? <laughs> no, I fucking did it. Yeah. She was drowning in she the was, pool. No, she they was drowning her real right bad. In the pool. I, yeah. And they, was, they were screaming. Yeah. So at the party, basically, everybody like pushes each other in the pool one by one. Oh, well, mm-hmm. well, and she this might not matter, but what city were they in? It's probably Atlanta. Atlanta. Atl- ATL. Cold. Probably Atlanta. Yeah, but you they know they do, do that all like, the time right. to the girls, like just throw them in a the pool, but you oh, do not know. know who cannot swim. That's scary. <laughs> Wait. Because if they threw my big ass in there at eight feet, I'm... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? I can't swim? I'm trying right now. This is too fucking much. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> I'm glad he went in there and rescued homegirl for real. Oh, he sure. saved her. He did. Yeah, he I did. appreciate yeah. that. Shout out to little Scrappy. And that was eight feet. I was so scared. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's deep right there. Literally deep. <laughs> okay. uh, Fred, hey, get up fast. Oh okay, excuse God. me. Ooh, mm. So crazy. I saw something on social media, and I just wanted to get you guys are two two both beautiful women. Um, and uh, I don't know what your types are, but I am the type of guy that I don't mind. Um, a, a well groomed man, mm-hmm. even though I am a, a gay man, so of course I'm gonna be well groomed. Mm-hmm. But this gentleman, uh, well, he ain't a gentleman after I saw this video. <laughs> He was basically rambling on saying that um, heterosexual men are gay if they get their nails done or if they get a haircut weekly. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you guys to listen to this and I want your opinion on this, okay? <laughs> You're going to go get, get your nails done. You're going to go get your feet done. You moisturize every day. What kind of man are you? You said get your hair cut every week. Every, what kind of man are you, homie? You a home, you somewhat of a homosexual man. That, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying you get your hair cut every day, every week. That's He's feminine. If you get your hair cut every week, homie, that's damn near feminine to me. Mm. I want to know you two are both ladies and you guys I don't know if you like men and women but if you do prefer a man <laughs> do you mind if your man is well groomed gets his hair cut weekly gets a manicure maybe a pedicure I feel like there's nothing well why does that make a man fa- I don't know I think that's absolutely absurd I'm, but I will be honest since you guys are asking opinions I'm not for a man that I'm dating to have polish the on polish. their hands and shit but to get your hands clean first off like nine times out of ten if this is really your nigga and you fucking with him his hands is gonna be in and around your shit mm-hmm. I wouldn't want no nigga na- well, ah, nah. with the dirt clean keep, keep all that up there's nothing wrong with that now if I, and I, this might just be also another biased opinion of mine do you fuck yourself up? wow did you lose your mouth? is it a hole? <laughs> That's embarrassing. I almost drowned myself. Let me show wipe it. Oh, damn. Casey, can you have me a napkin out of my Louis Vuitton bag? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, my anxiety. 
Amber, what about you? Um, wow. Well, it's, it, it's, it is what it is. I talk to hood niggas, so I don't know what they do. They probably dirty as fuck. I'm sorry. I don't know. But I wouldn't mind him getting cleaned up. So do you guys <laughs> you like good niggas? Yeah. She loves good niggas from bottom yeah. of the barrel. I was just talking about that too. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of it though. It's hard. Bottom what did you just say, barrel. Jacob? Bottom of burial. No, I'm just saying <laughs> The burial. The barrel. The barrel. <laughs> <laughs> the burial is way at the bottom. I said that because... <laughs> Dodie stuck with head. She's becoming. I'm just like, she is too much. You know when you have a friend that, like, when a guy come around, she don't mind. It ain't tricking if you got it. But you don't mind spinning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's some guys that she be talking to, or that she talked to in the past that would just be there around for that. Mm -hmm. So I was over the moon when I found out she went on a date and a guy paid. I <laughs> was over the moon. <laughs> I was. And he offered to pay for the ballet. Oh. Oh, he did? It was $40. And she said no. I said no because I feel bad. He has a daughter. And, you know, I already don't take, talk to guys with kids. But I know his job ain't really cracking like that. So he probably needed that $40. No. I feel bad. Don't feel bad. What did he pay for the fucking ballet, bro? I can't even tell you his job on here. But it's it's something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you was about to tell the job. I don't even know the job. I want that tea after right, the Right. If I tell you the job, then everybody's going to know what I'm talking about. It's going to yeah. be like, oh. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, men should keep themselves clean though. They should. Yeah, yeah. why I not? Don't, I don't find that I don't feel like a man is feminine because it gets. His, but I'm not gonna hold you. I did see like one of my homegirls, like she um mm -hmm. has like a boyfriend, and he does have like designs on his nails. Now I'm gay, but I don't even have that. I'm not judging him for having. I'm just right. like, like wow, like you know, men are very bold now, full set, son. Did why she come around with some black nails? <sighs> what? Fuck no. Oh, okay, I know he be wearing a little church shoes, so I just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you can't do it. I can't take it right <laughs> Stop. Don't you fucking do it. Okay, my bad. The whole day. <laughs> That's the Holy Ghost. Okay, dad. Okay. Don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, so it is what it is. Before we get into the Instagram questions and stuff mm -hmm. like that, let's have a little bit of fun. Okay. Um, yes. we have we had a segment that we used to do every episode, but we kind of took a little break on it. Out of the box. Boom, boom. Uh. Out of the box. Chica, chica, chica. Uh. So we get a little freaky, a little crazy, a little bit. Okay. Is that on. okay with you? Yeah. What okay, Jacob, do you mind? You're a male. Pack I can't box. really reach that box. You're a little bit oh, closer to me. Oh, leather's a little too tight. It's so tight. Get in the <laughs> matrix. It's <laughs> okay <laughs> tonight. Hilarious. You just open it up, mm -hmm. read the question out loud, and answer the best way you can. Okay. We'll do about five of them. Oh, shit. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me a lot. Sheesh. This is going to be so fun. Is it? You're fucking tickled pink, aren't you? Mary Crimmel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> Amber wrote these. I didn't, I didn't even get like, You're a cold bitch, ain't she? You're a cold bitch. I helped a little bit on the phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. The question is this is just got me. This is so funny. Are you still a sneaky link with your baby daddy? Ooh. <laughs> no. So y'all ain't doing it. No, we're not. No. Uh, oh, you seem sad. No, I'm just saying, like, you no, I'm fucking with you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all so messy. Y'all love this is coming up. No cuddle? <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen. Listen, I will I will not necessarily be about that, but when you deal with someone for a lot of years, it's like 10, 12, 15 of them. Mm, yeah. It's like, mm. you know, it's right. what it is. It's cool. Ran its okay. course. Yeah, you want more focused on co-parenting in a safe space with that Got than trying it. to worry about dipping double and back. Period. Yeah. You are so mature. I like that. No, 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 no. This is growth, babe. Okay, That's okay. Bro, right. You know sometimes one. we get our midnight cravings, mm -hmm. just like ice cream. Come on now. <laughs> and I can't resist <laughs> <laughs> to take another hit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, why? This is a fuck. I'm putting this one back in the box. I got ah, to... <laughs> we need to hear it. This is crazy. What the what was Usher? it? That's the other one. Damn, friend. Can we get there? Oh, I thought that was the one that fucked me. Oh, we did too. Oh. Mm. Well, you can put that back okay. in the box. <laughs> just put it to the side. You already read it. It's cool. That's why she said she got to put that back in the box anyway, but that was a good one. Yeah, like, that's not. Shout out to me. That's, that's... <laughs> Shout out to the messy boots. <laughs> Fucking messy boots, dog. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a cool question. Mm -hmm. Bay position and are you a freak? Damn, bay position. 
what is it called where the niggas on top that's missionary missionary mm -hmm. yeah that's what's up mm -hmm. I like that because it's very intimate and in the face and shit yeah. like that I right. fuck with that that passion right there yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! you like to grab the back or the ass and do the men like let you grab the ass I know a lot of straight men be like yo don't nah, touch my bro. booty yeah I can't right. do that part but um <laughs> I love that for you but <laughs> I I'm not grabbing ass no, but um, nails I'm, in the back. Yeah, I, I yeah. Nails you know, in the back, in the arms and shit. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Dear you know, I want to ask bottom. you, ladies. I always wonder because my homegirls used to say, used to scratch the man's back, and my brother even when he used to you know fuck bitches back in the day when used I was a little kid. Bitches. I used to see his back. I'm like, bro, why you have so much scratches on the back? I always wonder, are you guys like, is it just like a thing? Like, does it feel so good that you guys scratch your back or is it something y'all want to make remarks? You never, you never like, um, not to take it to that extreme of dominatrix, but like, um, pain is like pleasure. Mm -hmm. I don't mind dominatrix. <laughs> oh I like whips and chains and glory holes. Oh, all of those things. Fuck. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Mm. Well, I think that's where it comes from. Pain is pleasure. So sometimes when you're aggressive during sex, it's not always a bad feeling, but you do leave a marks, I guess. That's kind of what it is. Am I a freak? I don't know. I think I'm a, I'm, yeah, probably a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I was going to sit there and lie, but since you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> we love the transparency, Steph. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Two more. Make them good. Make them great. Come well, on, you Kate. You only know. <laughs> You would only know. <laughs> Fuck Hope she gets that good one I want to know about. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> What's really wrong with you, babe? Babe, would you rather eat ass or suck toes? Suck toes, bro. Okay, I'll just, you know, eat ass. Because I'm not, and, and that's fucked. That's tough. Some niggas' feet is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking doozy, babe. <laughs> I don't want to eat ass. Yeah, no, nah, that's out. I don't want to eat ass. I just, and then it says, or both. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> for the ones that just want to fucking just go ahead and just, just throw it all. All you can eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you say, Jacob? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> for some reason, guys Ooh. tell me, put this one back and try another one. I don't oh, know. My spirit, <laughs> my spirit was feeling ever. like, my spirit was feeling like it was going to be crazy. <laughs> It's me, it's me trying to peep through the thing. Uh-uh. Fuck, I don't know. It's your last one. Oh, it's going to probably deep rock the boat. It's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. You guys are so fucking stupid. I can't play. Yeah, hopefully it's the one I'm going to know about. <laughs> oh, I got something in my eye, for real. <laughs> Laughter is just so good. It right? is, but this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a I mean, come on. We got to make it interesting. <laughs> I feel like the other ones were so interesting. It couldn't have got oh, any more interesting. That was scratching the surface. We wanted to go to the core. <laughs> Get to the meat. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> that was a oh, good that one. That steak was well done. <laughs> okay. That was Oh, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was cool. I enjoyed thank that. You for, yes. Thank you for participating. No, for real, you're a yeah. great freaking sport. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. The day if I ever have a fucking podcast or anything, I'm gonna let your ass have it, bitch. Go ahead. I'll be ready. Yeah, <laughs> stay ready. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the Instagram questions. Oh God, we asked Instagram. You know that you, we told them you were coming on, and they got, but it was everything was positive on my end. Okay, mine as well. Okay, yeah. So I'll start with this one. What's your favorite thing to do with your daughters, and your favorite skincare product? Ooh, that skin is skinny. I don't see not one bump. Me open, neither. Pull, oh scratch. my God. What was the question again? What's the favorite thing to do with your daughters, okay. and your favorite skincare? The recipe? favorite thing. I don't even. I don't even want... I'm sorry. I really do have some technical You need um, tissue? I don't know. What if it... No, I think I'll be out there. Need a little fan? Nah. I'm um, sorry. Uh, my favorite thing to do with my daughters... I don't know. It's just all around... Like, just always spending quality time with them. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a particular thing. I'm a three... I'm like literally... Heard the saying at 25-8, mom, I'm always doing something with them. Down to my nail shop appointments, down okay. to my doctor's appointments. I had to get a breast exam and cut the curtain and vibes on the other side. It's wow. like, oh, please give me some fucking privacy. Super Can't mom. take a bath without her being in there or take a shit. So, I mean, honestly, um, I just, I don't have a particular thing, but just doing anything that makes them feel good and like feel loved on, you mm -hmm. know? And whatever mm -hmm. that may be, sometimes it's different, you know? Right. Like last night, um, Harmony spent the night with her best friend uh -huh. and I 
I had Vibe a long time with just me and Vibe. Mm -hmm. And so what she requested was to make bagels and cookies and to do um, a picnic in our living room and watch movies. And so that's what we did. Um, She still gave me hell during the process, but she was very happy. She was very happy. And that meant a lot to me. So that was that. My favorite skincare, hopefully mine soon, but... That's right. um, not hopefully. It's it will soon. be. Mad yeah, I'm best. working on that. I'm working on how I speak to myself. I got y'all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, right now I want to say I'm into like like actual skincare stuff. I don't know. Like, believe it or not, I don't really take great care of my skin. What? Yeah, I don't. And being that I'm half white, I'm shocked of that. Oh. You know, white people age fast. For real bad. Bad. Well, you're not Asian. I am, but it's okay though. I'm I'm working on it. And I'm trying to take better care of my skin, but I that's a spot like a question that I don't have a like a straight answer for. But okay. um, I use I do use this brand called Starface that I I live by. That's really good for like washing and cleansing my face. Okay. Um, but like off the top of my dome, I don't have nothing. Got you. Well, your skin looks amazing. Yeah, it definitely does it. for sure. I appreciate it. Yeah. Jake, you can go ahead and go. Okay. We'll go back and forth. Um, Somebody said, I want to see more of her family side. Does she have siblings, et cetera? (laughs) I do. I have siblings. So my my mom, I was my only child between my mom and my father. And but my dad had um, other kids and they're a lot older than me. And then I have a sister and I have two brothers. And they're a lot older than me. No shade. Mm. Sorry, sis. Um But my sister's a ER nurse. And then my brother, oh, wow. he was in the Marines. He's a barber. He also used to work as, um, what are those people that work inside the um, the jails? Oh, what the guard. Not the guard, but the, yeah, like, huh? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. He used to be. Okay. Um, so I do have siblings. Um, my brother, he's older. We still, we are in touch. We talk and stuff like that. But my sister, I was just with her the other day. And we have a pretty good relationship. You know, she's like very smart, highly educated. She's just like a dope person. So, yeah, I do That's have siblings. Awesome. You know, kind of listening to you talk, you're very therapeutic. Mm-hmm. Am I? Yeah, I'll you are. That. Like, I can listen to you. Like, if you were to write a book and it was oh, audio, man. I would listen to your entire book. Voice? Yeah. It's calm. It's calm and yeah, you're good. It like, even when you described your daughter, like, you, how you said, we went, we had a picnic and she mm-hmm. wanted bagels. She and wanted bagels. It was just and... the way you talk about it. It's kind of like you paint the picture and I saw every step of the way. Thank you. Like, when you speak, it comes from, like, a passion. Right. It's like, you mean what you say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's staying on business. That's T.I.A. For sure. <laughs> so on yes, yes. Yeah. I love uh, it. That should keep it in my eye. It was another question you asked me about that you said, a siblings, and that was it, a more family side. Mm-hmm. I have my, my mom passed away when I was um 25. She died of. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, she died um, a month uh, after my older daughter was born, so my daughter really didn't get a chance to meet her. Oh. Um, and then my dad, I still have my father. He's in my life. He's um, okay. My parents had me at a really... I, I'm the youngest. Even though my mom's only, I'm the youngest in my siblings. My dad is 72 years old. Oh Shut up. Yeah. But he's a black man, so he doesn't look his age. Okay, right. yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's a black man, so he doesn't look his age. But yeah, I will say that I've found my family and my like cousins and my close friends and a lot of YG's family. I'm very close to them and still very close to them. Mm. But I don't have like a really big family, you know, on my side with my family. And I lost touch with a lot of people for reasons I don't like to talk about. But respect, you know. Um, I just find my family in that, but I do have siblings and they're dope. Yeah. They're dope. Awesome. Yeah. You answered that well. Very yeah. well. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, uh-oh. let's see. What tattoo do you have on your chest? Hard eye, hard eye. Oh fuck. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> well. <laughs> Not hard eye, hard eye. What do I have on my chest? I think I have some fucking flowers. Bro. I think I have like a collage of like cherry blossoms and roses or something on my mm-hmm. chest. I think okay. I don't know. I can't really remember. It's kind of okay. sad to say. Yeah. I don't have any tattoos, but I commend you for having so many. Yeah. Oh, baby. Especially on your neck. Did that hurt? Yeah, it hurt everything. I have a high. I have a high, high tolerance. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. High right. high pain tolerance. Yes, I do. I I do extremely high, and um, I can't. I, I'm. Well, actually, I did get it. No, I haven't got a tattoo recently. That would be a lie. But when I say the most recent tattoos that I did get, mm-hmm. I it hurt me tremendously. And I stopped back and I look. I started getting tattoos when I was, I think, 16 years old. Mm, yeah. And some of my tattoos that I got on my face and my neck were the first tattoos I got. The most wow. dysfunctional shit I could have did. Like, who does that? 
Like, why do you go tattoo your face at 17 and 18? Isn't that fucking crazy? Mm-hmm. Shit, it's called life. It is and called you life. Still look, but you make it look good. Yeah, that's Well, everybody true. says that. But Amber I'm Rose, I love her. You know, yeah, that's my girl. girl. Amber Rose, I love yeah, her, I too. Know her. But um, I don't fuck with them anymore, and I'm growing out of <laughs> she's so oh, annoying. Yeah, no, she shaded me, not you. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. We always are banter to go back and forth. <laughs> well, where to see? I'm like, but yeah, I'm actually getting my face tattoos removed. Never. Yeah. And bro, if I didn't like want to, I would probably humiliate myself. But the way I look after I'm done is absolutely insane, bro. Like my face swells up like a fucking. Really? Crazy. Mm. It's the worst pain. Do you I've plan ever on getting like another tattoo? And would you ever consider using a numbing cream? No. Okay. I don't fuck the numbing cream. I don't even use numbing cream during the tattoo removal. It's mm. it's tremendously painful. I can't even explain it. Like I'm in tears. I get up and take shit that would take me like two minutes to finish my whole face. It takes me 20 minutes because it's excruciating. I'm not even and I have a high pain tolerance. It's fucking disgusting. It's the worst. It smells like burning skin. But Ooh, all to say oh. is, would I get another tattoo? Absolutely. I love tattoos, but I wish I just did it from neck down. Okay. I, I still am a fan of tattoos. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to be anti-removal. But right. I just wish I would have just hit from here down. That's all. What was your first tattoo? It was actually this weird ass star something my mom took me to get on my back and my shoulder. Okay. Some fucking stupid shit. And then the next one, I went straight for my neck. <laughs> It's like fucking. That's crazy. That's the same question I got. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was the first tattoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see. I know I have at least. Somebody says that she want more kids, which you already, did you, you already answered that, right? Yeah, you said you I want do. More kids. I do want yeah. more kids. And uh, any advice for someone dating rappers? Any advice for dating a rapper? Wow. Yeah, or somebody of a name of, in the industry. <laughs> That's a doozy. Right. Just fucking fend for your life. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Everybody's shit is different. Just mm-hmm. set up your boundaries and what you're okay with. I feel like anybody dating anybody, whether they're a rapper, fucking work, I don't know, wherever. Mm-hmm. A lawyer, an attorney, anybody, whoever you're dating, just having a boundary and setting it so they know where you stand so there's no confusion and you don't get caught in a fucked up cycle. Because then once you start to have feelings for a person, you kind of feel obligated to still deal with certain shit. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's basically the best advice that I can give with anybody, you know, just... The typical cliche shit of being true to yourself and setting boundaries. Um, and just, and under, oh, also understand whatever world that you're going into, don't be naive. You have to understand what shit comes That's with and one. nothing's easy. So mm-hmm. don't think that you're going to go date somebody and shit's going to be all green because a broke nigga can do you wrong. So yeah. sure, they sure can. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just life. It's all right. Just be willing to deal with that and, but just stay true to yourself and have certain limits and boundaries on your shit. Period. Well, I don't need to go to therapy. You are my therapist. Hello. You doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you said you take, you know, everything a day at a time, but where do you see yourself in five years? Man, damn, fuck Amber. That's a good one. I don't got the answer. Where do I see myself? I I, I don't, I can't say five years. I just, okay. if for future, I just see myself having my own brand and flourishing. Mm-hmm. I just, it's really big for me now to be, I don't know how to put this. For my daughters, not more so than than ever have I felt that I need to be a better example to my daughters and what I like what I do and who I am because mm-hmm. they only know their dad to be this they they love me. They see me superhero mom, but I I want to show them like as a woman, you know, certain things that I feel like I probably haven't shown them because I've been more of a stay-at-home mom. Right. right. And so I I will say in like I guess in 5 years I just want to see myself um, mentally stable and well and, and healthy and, and owning multiple businesses there you go. and, um, and properties, you know, and just mm-hmm. being able to love on my kids the best way possible. Just trying to break generational curses. That's where my, where I'm at. It's a little all over the place, but you know. Okay. What's next for you? What's next for me? Fuck. I wasn't done. Go ahead. Well, I want to know that, and then you can go back to what you was. Uh, All right, do your first. Right. You know, we usually ask it at the end. Sorry, it's okay. No, I got something else at the end. Oh, you do? Uh huh. Okay, yeah. What's next? I'm like, okay. Well, <laughs> um, what was the question? I'm sorry. What's next for you? What's next for me? Oh man, what's next for me? I don't know. I'm hoping the shit is in, opportunities is is just endless. I don't mm-hmm. know what's next for me. You know, just being in the space that I'm in and trying to just flourish the best way I possibly can. Right. Um. I don't know. I hope that 
Like, I, like I said, that the business that I'm trying to venture off in and the nonprofit, I, that it, it gets mm -hmm. bigger and better. And I help more and more people and women and touch young women in ways that, you know, not your basic, like, you know, bullshit that not, excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. It's not bullshit that people be doing, but on a level <laughs> of, cause I just want to be more specific. I don't want to mm -hmm. shade nobody, but on the level of like, I want to be more one-on-one -on -one with women. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, have intimate. And I don't want to preach at you. I want to talk to you. And I want to share some of the shit that I've been through. So I, I haven't always had just a cool life because I deal with my baby daddy or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So just trying to be more of that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. You guys have good questions. I'm going to go home and ask my fucking self. That's like, right. bitch, write this shit Send down. Send that shit right. for a minute. You don't need to have a full generalized answer, there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You still give good answers. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be speakers at the event? So that's what I didn't want to do necessarily. Okay. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want it to be that. I wanted it to be an event that came out. But since my friend, like I said, who's going to be there, who is a uh, licensed clinical therapist, mm -hmm. I have to keep saying that shit because she worked fucking hard. Being a black woman as well mm -hmm. and highly educated, it's like girlfriend. And she's young. Um, but nonetheless, she will be there and she will be... Um, you know, if anyone wants to step aside for privacy and stop and ask questions, talk to her or ask about sessions. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is more so about a gathering and giving back this time. And I, I have events to come that will be more intimate and have girl events where we can talk and and we can do mood boards and we can have stuff with women's homes and group homes and and talk about stuff and writing your goals down and shit like that, because. Even though I never had to go through some of the shit younger women had to go through, I didn't have a perfect life. I, I will say my mom was a great mother, but she never really instilled in me in like in like planning things out. Right. And so with me having, you know, pretty, you know, decent young, you know, childhood, I feel like I didn't even get that taught to me. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like setting stuff out and writing your shit down and figuring out and sticking to it and mm. not quitting and having those conversations and like not doubting yourself because I right. still do that. So mm -hmm. those conversations I want to have in a more intimate setting with women, but I want this just to be a fun event. Okay. Oh, and the telehealth van. So the telehealth van is also like a service that they provide throughout the community for some people that are not able to get back and forth to certain things or like okay. um, appointments. Or, and they also have like a screen where you're able to talk to either a licensed physician or therapist for any of your needs. If oh, you're wow. unwell, you're not sick. That day, it won't necessarily be specifically providing any services, but show you the services that they can provide or if they can provide some small services. Okay. Um, so that will be there. So those will be the two options of things for that. But everything is supposed to just be food and, yeah. and music yeah, good and time. good times. You know, people yeah. need that shit when you down and out and you sad. Like everybody don't want to be talked at. So for sure. And I'm glad you said that it'd be more events. I want to do me like a um a vision board party at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can partner up and yeah, get some girls. That would out, be amazing. You know? like I'm trying to like find that. group homes right now that are specific for women in need and stuff like yeah. that. So when you do that, you know that you're reaching the targeted you know, the targeted group that you're trying to reach. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. just let me know. I like that idea, that. friend. Bad. Yeah, mood board. That, yeah. That, that, that shit is for real because I do it with my friends or I attempt to do it. We're supposed to be doing some. And just putting it out and laying it out in front of you has always been so helpful. Mm -hmm. And you got to see it every day. You walk yeah. by it every day. It gives you like, you know, oh, motivation. Yes, a reminder yeah. like, okay, we on track. Okay, right. Let's keep it pushing. Right. right. Well, that. Kate. I couldn't wait. I want to speak some life into you. Ooh, speak yes. it. You're yes. not only beautiful in and out, you're not mm -hmm. also a good mother. Um, you're talented. Oh. You you speak very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and I pray that anything that you believe in God for, that it flourishes tenfold. Absolutely. Thank you. Your business is going to be successful at manifesting that for you. The rebrand. The rebrand. Mm -hmm. The book. Yeah, the therapy on. sessions you get people by just even opening your mouth and talking about your experiences. Yeah, um, it's you. so beautiful, and yeah. you are really a beautiful soul. And we really appreciate, appreciate you that. coming on a Just Us podcast. Yes, Ooh. and I brought you a little candle to put in your crib. Oh, thank you. Let me tell I was you. hoping it wasn't gonna be like liquor or nothing, so I was like, "Damn, friend." We usually right. give away <laughs> bottles, <laughs> so yeah. this is so awesome. Yeah, so I received this candle. Let me tell you, it is from Forever Rose. Okay, it smells good. Let me tell you, at the bottom it has a QR. Code. Okay. So it's a playlist. Ooh, to set the mood and the vibe. That's fucking fire. Yes. I, and I'm very grateful. Thank you so of fucking course. much. Yes. Girl. It's me of trying course. to smell it while we're right here. Right here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it's me trying to smell it. Let's just see really right, quick. You know what's in her car before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <I'm scared really. laughs> Let's see. 
I will cuddle up. So it's going to be a little freaky little, little playlist. Little <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this shit's fire. That's I smell it from here. We only give the best to the best. Fuck the rest. Yeah, yeah. this shit is really Stay fire. It smells really good. It always put to the test. <laughs> no yeah. cap, it's fire. I can't wait to light it, but it's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't wait. I'm going to go in the car and scan the QR code. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like, let's see what this bitch got on. Let's light this motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> Not on a highway. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> yeah, we just vibing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to her beautiful best friend that came and support her. Yeah. Get your best friend to come and support you. Yeah, she's really the vibe. You know, she she she's my everyday partner right now. She's really it. You know, and she has some really fire. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead really and do fire it. What? I'm about to tell you right now. Oh. Her name is Bjornik. Okay, friend, how I spell it at B J R N K, right? NCK. Her app is right here down below, you guys. Yes. Yeah, so look, um, she's an artist. Okay. She's been an artist, but she's super talented in music wise. But on top of that, she has she has some jewelry stuff, jewelry line. Let me put it on top tier. Oh. And it's it's fire. It's edgy, it's street, it's sexy. It's is that little... what you have on now? Yeah. I Come by me that. so they can see. Yeah. Yeah, show a little something. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just like I'm just I'm just so the grateful. Okay, yeah, she's it. Yeah. Okay, so the link is it down in the description. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put your app then so that yeah. way they can follow you yeah. and then when it comes out, y'all better go purchase for my girl because yeah. I want a piece. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna wear it because I love your resume. Yeah, she's. It's, yes. Oh, period. Yeah. That's okay. why I said, bro, how's your friend wear gold? I saw all our wear. You ain't got no gold pieces. Right. She's like, I'm Little gonna gold. do that's it. What, that's what Aaron be saying. About. She's like, oh, you like silver. I'm a gold. You type like of beat. platinum. Yeah. Uh, then shut up. Don't you do that. <laughs> you like platinum. This is silver. <laughs> I'm playing with you. I yeah. know that. Well, thank you guys for speaking like this to my family because she's fire as fuck. And it's for you. Yeah. yeah. Hey. But yeah, so I just, I'm just so grateful to have the people I have around me. I'm appreciative of you inviting me here. Of course. I'm appreciative of you just now meeting you. You're a great person as well. Your personality is a vibe. Thank you. I always wanted a gay best friend, but I don't have any. Well, well, you got a friend now. You got a friend in me. I know. I do want a gay best friend. Shut up, Casey. (laughs) My best friend over there talking about I'm flat. Yeah. That's your best friend too? So now you have like nine. No, I don't. I have seven total. Keep adding. Wow. Excuse me. That's true. Casey is like my best friend. Seriously. We work together. We hang around every day. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a best friend, you don't have to know for multiple years. I have a best friend that I've known since I was Mm -hmm. a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. And she's falling off the wagon now. So I have room for one more. Not falling off the wagon. Yeah, she just hasn't been showing up. So you just dismiss, you just dismiss? Um, I feel like she's just not showing up for me as a best friend would. Mm -hmm. Or even just a friend in general. You don't believe in giving grace? I do believe in giving grace, but not when it's continuous. Mm -hmm. That's what it's given. I respect that. There's no grace. Yeah, I mean, you have this. This is part of the boundary, so... Right. It's part of boundaries. Well, this was such an amazing episode. It was. Better than I expected. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> wow, you thought it was going to be trash with me? No, I didn't know how you was going to come. I know that she was always cool, but I was going to be like, oh, you know. Well, oh, no. Nah, I don't want to talk like about that. this, but she was like, yeah, I'm ready. What yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, at this point, shit, fuck it. We here now, right? Come on. We here. So, yeah. but I'm grateful. Thank you, guys. And I want to see you out here more. Do some more podcasts, more interviews, talk that shit. I feel like when I, I always have. Are we your first podcast? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I've never. Oh, in my wow. Life. Yeah. We popped your cherry. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Never have I ever. But, you know, I, I will, I'm down to do more podcasts and do those things when I feel like I'm a little further in my life and I can talk more about business and brands. Right okay. now, I don't want to be, I don't want no one in my business. Take your time. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm living Slow my life step. and I'm I'm on my own journey. Start on your own podcast and yeah. talk about what you want to. I listen. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I listen. I love your voice. What? Yeah. You talk about chips. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cheetos. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> yes, yes, no. But you guys have some great shit going. Your energy is good. I fuck with it. I feel very, I think it's also a part of you guys making me feel very comfortable. Yeah. It wasn't weird vibes. I think that's a big part of that. So. You at home. You can come on this couch anytime you want. Oh, oh my God. For sure. I appreciate yes. it. Thank I'm you. I'm one so of your much. hosts, Jacob Willis. And it's your girl, Just Living Baby. And we'll see you in episode 36. Pew.